Recognized Snowmobile Media, STV has the privilege of being invited to meet with the manufacturers and being introduced to their new products long before the public gets their eyes on them. When we met with BRP, here's the insider on what is new and exciting in the 2012 Ski-Doo lineup. For 2012, we're really about completing our model lineup and completing the, or the three main areas we consider important, chassis, suspension, and engines. This year, what we've done is we've added the R-Motion suspension. We have a pretty good chassis picture, but we also did one thing there and tweaked as we brought the Rev XU chassis into the Scandic Super Wide Track to complete that circle also. Engines, last year was the Ace uh, 600 and the E-Tech 800R. This year we expanded the use of those motors throughout the lineup, so what we've really done is trying to complete and round our lineup well. All state-of-the-art technology, all state-of-the-art platforms, the best we can offer in suspensions and the best we can offer in motors. Another example of ski listening and responding to what their riders want is demonstrated in the fact that the new storage was added to the X models. This took a little longer than we would have liked. Uh, we heard the people, we know we needed to get storage in our seats. Uh, we finally have it on the X model machines where we did, haven't had it in years past. There's about 1.3 gallons of storage in the back of the seats now with X models, pretty much across the board. This year was also an important milestone in meeting the 2012 EPA regulations in snowmobile engines. For us, meeting the regulatory agencies like EPA were, it was a driving force for us, without a doubt. I mean, that's what helped bring about SDI and then led to ETEC and what have you. 2012 for us was not a big hurdle. We have enough four-stroke technology and enough cleaner two-stroke technology such as ETEC that's really not a concern. We, we have that requirement met with the regulatory agency without an issue. But what it's also done as a side benefit is it's given us much cleaner burning engines, much better fuel economy. So the benefit was twofold, meeting regulations, number one, number two, customer benefits. The customer truly appreciates that better gas mileage. And if you look at our E-Tech 600 and our E-Tech 800, they deliver better gas mileage than most four strokes. Two thousand twelve is a special year for us here at Snowmobiler TV, or STV as we affectionately refer to it. This year we celebrate the 15th season that the show has been on television, delivering all the best of the snowmobiling excitement we all enjoy. We need to thank all you viewers for tuning in, participating, and providing feedback to keep us delivering the goods that are interesting to all sledders. Many places have been visited and stories have been told since our first go-round. Just for some fun, appreciating it's 15 years old, here's a look back at what our show intro looked like back in 1996 in season one. Yes, lots has changed. At STV, we're proud of the fact that many of the people who were involved with the show 15 years ago are still connected with us today. Mike Sheen from Gamma Sales, Steve St. Ange of St. Ange Recreation, and even John Blacher, who once worked for us until the bandits at Yamaha scooped his talents away. We've had world champion figure skater Elvis Stoiko out for a fun-filled tour, and many other great folks along the way. From hot springs in the mountains to the ice hotel in Sweden, our tour sites have been spectacular. In celebration of our anniversary this season, we'll be dusting off the tape library and re-airing some of our first year stories and hope you enjoy them today as much as we did producing them 15 years back. Thank you for tuning in and making Snowmobiler TV Canada's best snowmobiling entertainment. Cheers to you all. Next on STV, celebrating 10 years of high performance four strokes.